Hi okay, folks, let's talk about K metrics. So first of all, uh, it's important to understand that it makes sense to gather any metrics only if you are going to use them in any way. It doesn't make sense to gather any metrics just for the sake of gathering them. If you're not going to use them to improve your process, then it's useless to it be just a waste of time. With that being said, let's take a look. It's not the full list, it's just uh, what I see the most useful ones. So for tasks in Jira, you can track for each task, uh, how many other in the current sprint not ready for testing, ready for testing, currently in testing and already tested. For test cases, it can be <coughs> current state of execution, how many passed, how many failed, blocked, not run yet. Also uh, executed versus planned, it kind of will show you speed of testing and current status as well. If you are going to meet deadline or not. A number of test cases executed per day. For test automation, it can be test automation coverage, percentage of automated tests in full regression, overall speed of test automation, number of automated tests per day, and percentage of false fails, basically instability of tests. Duration of test runs, how long does it take to run full regression overall, both including manual and automated. It should give you the idea how many days or hours you will have to spend at the end of the sprint to do full regression round. And how long does it take to run all of the tests? For this, <coughs> why it makes sense um, to track it because if it will take if it takes, uh, for example, three hours to run all of your automated tests, then you can run it daily. Uh, on some of my projects, it took, it was a few thousand tests, UI tests, and it took basically uh, more than 24 hours. And in that case, we planned accordingly and ran those tests only during weekends. So it's kind of uh, useful to understand. For bugs, uh, you can track open defects count broken down by priorities, how many critical left, major, minor, and so on. Found versus resolved to understand the trend if uh, the number of bugs is growing or not. Defect density by modules, how many found in each module Average defect fixed time and defect leakage. Percentage found in production versus uh, found in test environment. And for test environment itself, I would also track uh, test environment downtime. Basically, uh, it's time when you couldn't test because of deployments happening in the middle of the day. It went wrong, test environment is down and so on. So that's all of um, my suggestions. There are much more, as I said, but I don't find them really useful. This is for this video. See you in the next one.